Hello, Migo from the Fry Geek Show today, and I will be reviewing Resident Evil 2 on PlayStation 4. Now, as you know, Resident Evil 2 features two, too? two yeah. modes, and you can play as either Claire or Leon, but for this review, you will, will only be seeing footage from the Claire playthrough, mostly because I just haven't really found... I just haven't saved, like, some slots for Leon's playthrough, but besides the end, and yeah, it's going to be majority Claire, and I prefer her storyline anyways, and yes, you can see the infinite ammos, I use them through my playthrough, but hey, don't worry, I use normal ammo for the Resident Evil 3 playthrough, which I don't know, will probably not be reviewed, to be honest, because I just don't really bother getting footage but anyways so you play as either Claire or Leon this time being Claire as the footage speaks for itself you are just going around your day trying to find your brother in the police station until you're in a convenience store you get attacked by zombies Leon comes saves you then you go into his car try to go to the police station for to find some answers but then an accident happens, you two split up, and then it's your job to escape the police station and hopefully find the answers just where Chris is. Um, yeah. This game is absolutely fantastic, I'm just gonna say that straight up. The game looks and feels fantastic. The atmosphere is absolutely brilliant. You really do feel the horror of this whole situation. It's absolutely frightening, it's scary. Mr. X so gives me the creeps. He's an absolute scary guy. And um, I screamed a few times because of how scared I was. This game absolutely delivers in the horror and the trills. Um, it's just fantastic. The story is is okay. It isn't like too complex or like a changing experience. But it is decent enough. You do care for the characters and... You do really care, you do kind of do care for Sherry, who you do meet eventually in Claire's story. Um, you do feel the connection a bit because Claire, Claire is just a caring person. And in Leon's story, you meet Ada, who is a spy. And there's, I like the connection as well, but I feel like the motherly or... I, I'm saying motherly, but they're just like seven years apart, Claire and Sherry just seven years apart. But you do feel the connection there, and you do feel that Claire just really wants to help Sherry out. Anyways, the movement of the characters is good, because it's not not tank controls. And it's not also the controls of Resident Evil 4, where you cannot move and aim. This one, you aim, and you just... Can you move? I don't think so. Actually, you can't even move. But it's the the game just feels smooth. It's easy to control, and the map system is fantastic. There are also extra modes which I showed, which are the Fort Survivor, Tofu Survivor, and like the Ghost Survivor. So those are neat additions. But I'm just tackling the main game, which I do think is about six hours long for your first playthrough but for speedrun i think you can get it in like less than two hours which i did in 90 minutes yes with a like guide on the fastest route but i knew what to do already so that's that um yeah i don't really know much to say about this game it looks fantastic i like the characters i like the atmosphere I had fun playing it. Yes, I used the infinite ammo, but I had fun with it. That's the most important part about the game. If you have fun, you like it. It's just that. It's that simple. Yes, I did a bit of cheating, I guess. Even though you do unlock it. But honestly, I had a blast with it. And I did beat Resident Evil 3, which is basically the same style of game the legit way i had fun with resident evil 2 it's a much better game yeah the puzzles can get annoying but just the overall atmosphere of this game i, I haven't played a lot of horror games because i'm a wuss but resident evil 2 
it's just such a brilliant game on itself that I, I can't recommend it enough. You should definitely buy Resident Evil 2.